everyone, I hope you're well. So it's title suggested that I'm back with yet another product empties and reviews video. I'm still very emotional because I just filmed my first ever uh, video in Romanian. As you probably guys know by now, I'm Romanian, originally from Romania, and I moved to the UK around six years ago. Uh, so I have a lot of Romanian friends here on YouTube as well, and I decided why not to make videos in Romanian as well from now on for the people that can't fully understand me in English as I'm blubbering now. Uh, so I just filmed this exact video as well. I have here a little basket full of products. I have a lot more products, but I'll have to do a separate video with those as well. I just decided to stick onto the makeup-y bits today, so I don't make like a 30 minutes video yet again, as you know, I'm well known for them. <laughs> right, so I'm going to get straight into the video now and start with my Max Fix Plus. As you guys know, I really enjoy this product. I already repurchased it. I have it behind me. It's a really, really nice product. I prefer to use it instead of spraying my face with it. I actually prefer to dampen my makeup brushes before I apply my eyeshadow with it. And I like it a lot for that. So I would really recommend you guys trying it if you've never done before. Next product I, I have is from, uh, it's called Jordani Gold. And it's from a company called Oriflame. It's a Swedish makeup company that is like Avon sort of thing. And yeah, mine is in natural beige. Yeah, it's a natural beige. This is like, as I was saying in my last video, it's so weird because I'm repeating myself now. But yeah, as I was saying in my last video in Romanian, this is like a childhood product. I used to be an Oriflame um, presenter, representative uh, back in Romania, so was my mum, and she introduced me to this makeup. Every time I go into Romania, I repurchase this foundation. It's a light coverage, but you can build it up into a more medium to even more heavy coverage if you want. But yeah, I would really recommend if you guys ever see to test this one out. It's really nice. It doesn't show your fine lines and doesn't just sit on your skin. It looks very natural. The Next products I have, there's some concealers and I'm just going to pull them all out of here. I actually have four concealers. The first one I have is the Revlon Colorstay Concealer and I think it's in color light, this one. I really, really liked this concealer, guys. I'm wearing it today. It was the last bit I could squeeze out of it. I couldn't get a stopper out because a lot of people say if you get a stopper out, you're actually going to get a lot more product, but I, I didn't manage to do that. But I loved it. I will definitely repurchase it. It's really nice. This is a quite white tea base. It's still yellow based, but it's very, very light and it's nice for highlighting. And I've really been enjoying that. I'll definitely repurchase. The next concealer, hmm, it's quite a weird one, is the Rimmel Match Perfection in uh, 010 Ivory. If you watch my videos from the beginning, I made a five products get ready with me sort of tag. And I was saying that this is my favorite concealer and I love it to bits. But since then I repurchased it and the bottle or the one I have at the moment, I don't like it as much. It's streaky and it's more gloopy. And I don't know, I think it might be something wrong with the one I have at the moment. So I'll definitely repurchase another one to give it another go. As when I used this exact one, it was really good. Next concealer I have is one that's very popular on YouTube and around the world. <laughs> it's the Instant anti Age Eraser, the eye eraser from Maybelline. I really like this. It's a very yellow-based concealer, and usually I like to use this in a whiter one on top. This is a more heavy concealer. I wouldn't say... I, I think this you can even use it all over your face if you really want a heavy coverage. But yeah, I really like it, and I, I already repurchased this. The next item I have is from Seventeen, and it's yet another concealer. Is the whoop? Almost dropped it. It's the Seventeen Stay Up to Eighteen Hour Concealer, and I have mine in extra fair. I really like this. I already repurchased it again. It has a very light consistency. I think it's really, really good for your under eye and highlighting your face. So I would definitely recommend that. The next product I have to stay sort of, I should have showed this after the foundation, it's a CC cream from Olay. This is one of those swirly ones that have the serum and foundation and they mix when you pump up. It had a really nice smell, it had a gel consistency and I've been really enjoying it, especially in the summer. I would say the colour is slightly orange at points and it does oxidise at the slightest, but I still enjoyed using it. I don't know if I'm going to run and repurchase it, but I would definitely def definitely tell you guys to give it a go. It's very good if you like a very light consistency gel-like. I will recommend it especially for dry skin. The next two products I have, there's some lip balms. One of them is by Balmy and it's the strawberry one. I've used this one until it dried out. It looked like this. It quite looked like 
sort of the US shapes. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I really liked it, especially the strawberry one. I repurchased it and purchased it as well for all my friends and stuff back home. I really like it, as I said, especially this one. I repurchased um, in different flavours and I don't like them as much, so strawberry has to be my favourite. Coconut one is a bit tingly on the lips and so on, but this has to be my all-time favourite. I'll definitely repurchase the one in red. The next one I have is from a company called Himalaya Herbals. I purchased this in Romania, but I've seen it in other countries as well. I, I didn't see it in the UK. Um, as I was saying, the consistency was quite heavy, and I wouldn't recommend it if you have really chopped lips. But it's really nice to put at night, maybe it will moisturise if you have it for a long time and you don't eat and so on. I don't know if I repurchase it, maybe I will when I go back home. But, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about this one. The next two products I have free even, they're mascaras and I'll try test, um, I'll start with this one. If you guys know I've made a makeup swap with one of my friends, it's also a Romanian YouTuber that lives in US and that was posted on my uh, channel quite a while ago and I got a mascara from Tarte. I have to say I really enjoyed using this on my bottom lashes. I never tested the Clinique bottom lash mascara but after seeing other people's reviews and application this for me was you know very seemed very similar is very good for your bottom lashes because of the small brush it had a nice sort of dry consistency so it didn't like smudge under your eyes and so on so i would definitely recommend this one i can't repurchase it so it's quite sad but if i could repurchase it probably i would the next mascara i have is the volume million lashes from l'oreal and it's so couture black it looks like this and oh my god this has to be a oh my god product for me I'm going to show you quickly the wand. I really, really enjoyed this. I love the consistency. I'll definitely repurchase it someday in the future, but I really want to try the telescopic one as well from L'Oreal. Never tried that one, believe it or not, and I had only great reviews. I can't believe I never really played with L'Oreal mascaras before. But yeah, I really, really liked this one, and someday it will be repurchased, and I would recommend you guys try testing it out. The last mascara I have here, you're going to probably have a proper laugh at it because it's all chewed not by my dog but one of my friend's dogs but yeah is there they're real it's a travel sized one i had it for a really long time in one of this empties and i forgot to show it to you i finished it like a long long time ago as you guys know the wand on this mascara is very weird it's very plasticky but i like it i do have the full size as well now and i will probably continue to repurchase i have days when i love it days when i hate it but i always go back to it at a point so i would recommend you guys if you want to splurge a bit to give it a test at a point the next item i have is a little brush and it's just a eyebrow and eyelashes one it's a non-brand sort of thing that you buy in one of those kits but you've seen better days so it's time to let it go Next item I have is from George, and as you guys know, if you live in the UK, George is from Asta. Uh, it's a felt tip liner. If you're going to see the swatch, you'll be like, why have you been in that? Look at that black. It's a gorgeous colour, gorgeous colour, very nice consistency, but I've been so let down by the tip. If you look at that, the felt tip just fell apart. You can't get a good line with it, you just can't. So there's no point of me keeping it also smudged on me as I have really hooded eyes. If you don't have hooded eyes, I would recommend you guys testing it. I don't know if the tip was only well, mine was a faulty one, but I don't think I will repurchase it myself for those two reasons. Next product I, product I have is from Urban Decay, and it's their eyeshadow primer potion. It looks so cute. I love this little receptacle. But yeah, it looks like this. don't know if it has... Yeah, it actually has some on. It looks a bit like a concealer when you put it on. I liked this one. I can't say I would run and repurchase it because I, I won't really. But I liked it. If someone would gift it to me or whatever, I would use this product. But I, I wouldn't run and repurchase it as I re I prefer my MAC paint pots like in Soft Toker or Painterly for like an eye base or the Maybelline Color Tattoos in Soft Beige and other colors. They're cheaper than this and they're as good for me. So yeah, next product I have is from Sesh Vite, it's a nail top coat, you guys know already, I really really like this product, it's really really nice, it's a bit of a gummy sort of consistency, I don't know how to explain, it's a bit gloopy and stuff, it goes gloopy quite quick, but I kept using it like that, if you can see there's still a bit left there, but that's 
genuinely unusable at this moment. It dries extremely fast, literally in two minutes you have dry nails, so that's why I love it so much. But if you guys have a good top coat that is shiny and it keeps your nails from chipping, please let me know down below because I've been looking to test new ones. So yeah, I would recommend it. If you guys never trust it, give it a go. It smells horrendously, probably has very bad ingredients in it, but it does a job. The last two products I have for today, and that's my basket gone just with a beauty product, are two samples that I had from Smashbox. One of them was the Hydroller or Hydro something primer. It's the one that's greeny blue. I loved it. I first heard Mama Fulzo talk about it in one of her videos that she has dry skin as well and she was saying it's a holy grail and oh my god it's true. I can't believe I've not purchased it yet. It's on my wish list and I will purchase it when I have some a chance. Totally recommend it. If you have dry skin it's like melting water with hydration it's unbelievable and the next one again was from Smashbox and it was like a yellow primer it went really flaky and I genuinely didn't like it so I won't recommend the yellow one <laughs> I don't know maybe for you guys I always want to say in this videos like this so maybe some of these products work for me but won't work for you at all and vice versa but yeah for me this one did not do its job it flaked on my skin as well so as it just flakes now in this container after it stayed here, that's how it flaked on my skin as well and that's why the first reason I didn't like it. The first application was fine, put in the next layer on, start to flake, looked like you had a disease or something. Right guys, so as I can see this is already like 10 minutes, I have a lot more products and I'm going to go into them, probably film maybe tonight again a separate video with the rest of the products, probably I'll film another one in Romanian as well. So yeah guys, if you're a Romanian viewer, Go on Bonkers for Beauty RO from Romania and you will see this exact video in Romanian if you would like to watch it. If not, thank you ever so much for watching this and following my channel. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please give me a like. Also, if you have any suggestions for videos or anything you would like me to do in general, please let me know down the bar. I have a crazy amount of videos planned, very different, no holes really. I only have one stationary sort of type hole, very different than what I've done before. But everything else beside that, there's no holes in the upcoming future. I'm sort of on a spending ban, as you guys know, I don't have a job at the moment. So I'm being good and doing different videos. So I really hope you enjoyed this, guys. As I said, give me a like if you did and maybe comment and subscribe to keep in touch. And yes. I hope you have an amazing day and until next time, as I always say, please don't forget to stay beautiful inside and out. Bye guys!